So what is a uh, date visualization? So uh, I'm not going to read those definitions, um, but I think for us, date visualization, there are two purposes. The first is that to help you to identify the patterns of the data. So as we saw the example earlier, so data visualization can help us to see the patterns that uh, we cannot find by using the traditional statistic tools. The second purpose is that can help us to communicate with others. So when you want to uh, deliver your report, your findings, and something to others, visualization will be more efficient. So if you visualize your result by using different chart or maps, so that will be more efficient by just uh, show them the tables or the or the text. Um, I think I have show I have uh, displayed this slide uh, previous that why visualization in intelligence analysis. So nowadays that our I three forty so cover this part that how we can uh, do the contain the data so how uh, install the data organize data by using different data containers like database or relational database and also semi structured database and this class is really help you to do the do the analysis so that is what they call it business intelligence so for example the tableau is one of the most popular bi tools and we also have I-480, so that talking about AI and also machine learning. So that is how the computers can help you to identify the patterns, etc. Uh, so actually everything together is what they call uh, data mining. And also the I-241 is just help you get prepared uh, for the, all the other uh, required te technical class in this um, program. All right, so before we continue, so I want to talk a little bit about uh, human perceptions. So we know that we are creating visualizations and we are going to use our eyes to understand those visualizations. So before we create any visualizations, keep in mind that we cannot trust our eyes. OK, we cannot trust our eyes. So here are two very famous examples. So the left one, it looks like this line is shorter than this one, but actually uh, they have the same length. And on the right side, okay, so some people can see blue and black, and some people can see different colors. So uh, for example, I can only see black and also blue, but uh, some people will see some other colors. So we cannot trust our eyes. Uh, so there is very great readings that I posted on Canvas uh, talking about the human perceptions. For example, that we tend to perceive what we want to perceive. OK, and also uh, mindsets tend to be quick to form but resistant to change. OK, so those are some features about human perceptions. And this reading also have very some ni uh, very nice uh, examples. For example, this image looks like a female, oh, sorry, a male's face, and this image looks like a young lady. Okay, and if you look at this image, so uh, some people may see a young lady, and some people may see an old lady. Okay, and also you can it's it's also very hard to for you to look at the same information from different perspectives. So if you think there's a young lady, it might be hard for you to think that it is an old lady. OK. And let's see some more examples. So let's say this one. So here we have two blocks. OK. So one is gray and also one is white. So are they have, do they have the same colors? So let's try it. Okay. And actually, they are the same gray. Okay. 
just because of the background, so it looks like they are different, actually they are the same. And now let's look at this example. Okay, so this is an example of the gradient colors. So the word data appear to be have different colors. Is that true? Okay, actually they have the same colors just because of the gradient background, they look like different. Okay, and how about this one? Okay, so if you look at uh, this bar, so does the color look like the same? Okay, the bar appears to be like it, it is light on the left and also darker on the right. But if we remove the background, you can see they have the same color. Okay. And how many colors do we have on this slide? Okay, it looks like we have two types of blue. But if we remove those two lines, okay, so there are actually four colors. And how tall is this kid? Okay. And what about now? Okay, so the boy suddenly grew up. And this one? Okay, you may took photos just like this. Okay. And here is another example. So let's see. How we, perce uh, how we perceive distances. The line in the above, above, it looks like longer than the one that at the bottom. Okay, is that true? No, they are the same. Okay, and now let's look at the another example of the shadow. So pay attention to this dot in the middle up and also the, this one in the middle bottom. So now if we switch, okay, so now they look like different, right? And this also another example from Wikipedia. So look like we have a hole, we have jump in um, to this hole. And now if we rotate this image, so now we have to climb the, the hill. Okay. Okay. Uh, so next one may cause a little bit discomfort. So this is what they call the Moira effect. Okay. You can see those shimmer that occurs when you stare at this image. There's no animation here. And we can make it worse. Okay. So you may think that who will make those images? Actually, we did that a lot. So look at this example. Okay, those unnecessary grid lines. Okay, or if you have very, very long bar chart. Okay, so that will generate those moist effect. And this is what they call Herman effect. So you can see those dots. Okay. And that actually um, we, we actually create something like that. So like this, you need chart. Okay, so this is also another example that our human brains can, you see, create a triangle. So there's no triangle here, but we can see a triangle. And here we can also see a complete circle and also complete triangle. Okay, because our, our mind we all work with the information we have. And what is what letter is this? Is this edge or is it this A? Okay? So what if we put that into different content? Okay. And this is another example. So uh, do we which pixels we have the most? Okay, 
do we have the blue or white or red the most squares okay it looks like we have the blue right we have most pixels are blue so is that real no all three types of colors have exactly the same amount numbers and also sometimes that objects that are near each other will appear to belong together okay so here we can see we have four clusters and this gives us like the four rows and also this gives us look like the four columns okay okay uh next one uh, we are also may cause a little bit discomfort. So let's let's try it. So let's stare at this black dot for a few seconds. Okay, so let's stare at this black dot for a few seconds. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, did you see a colorful picture? Okay, so it is a black and also white image, but it appears in color at first. Okay, because the brain has the previous slide in memory with the color. So that's why we saw a uh, colorful pictures. So you can try that on your own by looking at those slides on canvas. And let's try another one. So let's stare at this right dot for a few seconds. Okay, let's see one two three okay okay did you see a ghost in this visualization okay so you you might saw the image of the woman that uh projected on this black screen okay so those are some examples that we cannot trust our eyes okay all the time because our human perceptions are very interesting. 